I think probably there is the need for both. I think the, the large scale projects are really essential for kind of the, the base load energy needs of, of a country. But, um, but certainly um, the, looking at sort of local technologies, um, technologies that are developed by local communities for local communities, I think um, is absolutely essential. And that's the, that's the area that Practical Action has been working on. Um, in a number of different areas, but particularly on kind of energy access. A lot of the work we've been doing is kind of looking at, so always kind of having the, the community and the households actually being at the centre of any project. So we sort of wouldn't go in and say, these are some solar panels or this is a technology, um, you know, do you, want, do you want to use it? It's more going in, doing a needs assessment, uh, quite often with sort of very isolated local um, communities and then talking to them about um, what sort of a system, what are they looking at, what are the kind of resources that they have and which is kind of the more uh, appropriate technology. So from uh, low carbon energy, um, we've been doing a lot of work on, on micro hydro systems when there's a kind of appropriate uh, river suitable um, resource. Uh, we're working on um, stoves on, on bioenergy, so that's for cooking, but potentially also for lighting and sort of new, more uh, cleaner technologies, but also technologies that are very appropriate to the cooking habits and the using the local fuels. Um, so we've been looking at uh, wood fuel, but also charcoal, which is quite often used, quite often not very um, efficiently used. So it's kind of looking at the efficiency side. Uh, and then we're kind of looking at uh, new fuels like ethanol from sugarcane, which is locally produced, but quite often just uh, a waste product. What do people use energy for? Um, and, you know, I said it's a breaking that down. So obviously there's heat for cooking, which is um, for poor people, that's a very high, I mean, it's sort of estimated to be kind of 80% of their traditional energy use. Um, because quite often they, they just don't have um, energy supply for anything else, um, but you know things that we we do take for granted. But so having access to uh, something like lighting, just a simple sort of lighting appliance, is to be able to um, you know you, use productive hours when it gets dark. Uh, can they have? And you know there's so many stories of um, on on an individual level of um, people's lives being really changed. Um, some of the other um, less common uses is um, energy, uh, particularly for space heating. So in, uh, we work in uh, the, um, the, the mountains in, in Nepal and Peru, um, and quite often uh, at, at night time, and also in sort of arid areas, it gets very cold at night time. Um, and just being able to use kind of the biomass, uh, but in a very clean and healthy way, rather than lighting a fire, which is then when you're just sleeping in the same place where there's uh, smoke which causes all sorts of diseases so having um, a heating in a, in a very efficient um, and low emission stove is also uh, extremely important. Um, some, of, some of the other um, ways of around communications and uh, the mobile phones um, you know, kind of taken to developing world by storm but actually being able to put people to be able to charge their phones you know that becomes really essential and, and it's, you know, very very simple um, solar systems and, uh, to enable people to be able to do that. Some of the other things I think is um, kind of just for sort of entertainment purposes really some of the micro hydro schemes that we've um, developed they enable um, small businesses to set up so one of the, the most um, common thing is, is ladies will set up a hair salon to be able to kind of uh, you know for people to, rather than having to go kind of several hours into the city to be able to get their hair done and you know that, that's a real kind of community um, engagement and something that's really nice within the community or you know maybe um, refrigerating drinks and then other kind of more practical and important things like um, healthcare so being able to um, keep the vaccines cool for in a, in a, uh, maybe a rural health clinic um, and then other sort of area might be uh, refrigerating food which otherwise would go off